Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JGM Games, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to change the color of pretty much anything in Photoshop. So, I was just thinking, I need to get a tutorial out. I've been working on a series all week, and um, it wasn't ready, and I need to get a tutorial out. So I was like, what if I just show you guys something simple in Photoshop? Because I really haven't done a Photoshop tutorial since my Game Asset Creation tutorial uh, about a year ago. So I figured I'd jump into Photoshop. So we are going to be doing, we are going to be changing the color of, and of this image. So I found this image. It's just a stock image. Pretty sure it's orange juice. I'm not sure. Um, don't comment below if you know what it is. I probably it doesn't matter. And so we're going to be changing the color of this from orange to blue. Now, Photoshop is actually really good at doing this, and it's actually fairly simple to do this. Um, so basically, all you have to do is you have to go to your background and you want to have this you can, this can be your normal layer and you want to go down to here and then you're going to want to go to, to hue saturation all right and now you'll have this and that's all you need this is the only layer you need and you can stop here pretty much so if you look you have this hue controller which basically determines what color it is it's saturation which is like I guess has set like the color behind it, and you also have um, lightness, darkness, so you can have it like really bright or not so bright. So that's some cool stuff on here. Um, so I'm a bit picky. I like having like this at zero when I start up. And so basically, let's ch go ahead and change the color of this. So basically, since this image is fairly simple, all I have to do is drag the slider, and you can see that everything starts to change. So I kind of want to go for a light blue color, almost. Like that. And then I want it to be a bit desaturated. Because nothing in the real world is that saturated. So I'll make it like 25. And then make it just a tad darker, like so. Then now you'll see that this image really is starting to look good. And you'll notice that it's even done the shadows because it's just tinting the hue and it's done like the reflections and all that and Photoshop is really good with stuff like that it's even done the reflection of the light that's coming from that side right there but you'll notice that the see the environment around it doesn't really fit and I don't really like it as you can see it looks really good with this blue right here but I kind of wish that this environment was not that color so we are going to be changing that and that's how, where you have the flexibility behind this First of all, you'll notice that we have a mask that is created with this. So basically, we can actually change what is colored and what is not, um, what is added by this effect. So I have my pen and touch tablet plugged in, and so I'm going to turn, all right, that's on. So now I'm going to go over here to this section where you have your color selection, and I'm gonna click this button right here. Now that gives you white and black, and I'm just gonna flip this to black. All right, so now that we have this, you'll notice that this is a white mask. So for us to see stuff behind that's on this layer, we need to be painting in black. That's how masks work. So I'm just gonna come up here and hit B to open up my brush tool. And I'm gonna scale up this and I'm gonna get just a base layer. And now you can see that it's already starting to look a ton more natural. So I'm just gonna do a really big stroke. And I'm gonna turn down the size. I'm going to do some more accurate strokes. Now you'll notice that I'm doing this all with one motion. You don't have to do it in one motion. It will actually save if you let go. Um, I'm just doing it just to be quick and that's how I'm used to painting in Photoshop. And so now here's when I would like zoom in or something. Um, figure out. So if you hold Alt and click, oops, that moves your mask around if you want to do that. Um, you probably won't need to do that though, because I just zoomed in real quick. I'm going to do this really quick. I might skip through this. I'm just really perfectionist right now. Zoom back out. Uh, that looks good enough. So now I'm going to start coloring this side. Now I noticed that when we're coloring down here, if I go too big, you'll see that you can start to see the orange. So we don't want that. I wish you guys had to fix that. This is just basically like an intro to masking as well. 
doesn't matter on the lids up here. Uh, you can get away with not showing that. But you cannot get away with the orange. That does not look natural whatsoever. So let's say we've this is our finished thing, and I am just going to go ahead and smooth off the top and I so let's say we got an error right there. We've got an error on the sides. We don't want that, so we're just gonna flip this back around. And I'm going to paint out the sides and just try to eyeball it. All right, and we got this up here, so we're just gonna eyeball that as well. And so now you'll see that we have successfully changed the color of something in Photoshop. Before and after, and that looks so natural. You can see that it's kind of messed up on the sides, but what I would do in this situation is I would go grab my blur tool and I would start blurring that out. So yeah, that's basically how to change the color of something in Photoshop. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.